Hi guys, today it's all about speed signs. So basically I got some comments on my channel talking about how bad this car detects uh, speed signs. And um, so we will just go on this ride that I will uh, make now and we will check if the car matches the speed signs that we are going to see or not. And also I do believe that there are some instances that the car gets this information from navigation. I am not sure, but we will try to check it now. Let's go. Hi again. Great to have you on board today. It's a pleasure. Let's go. So currently I don't have here any sign, but we are inside my garage, my parking space. It's not a garage. And we are just leaving now. Okay, so let's start. So currently still no signs here. So there is no speed limit here and let's see when it shows here some speed sign okay so the speed sign is this icon here that you can see that there is nothing nothing here okay so i will just go let's see when we have the first speed sign here we are in a urban area city area let's call it like that there is nothing uh, in speed signs so every time that I see a speed sign, I will tell you guys that uh, there is a speed sign and then we will check if the car matches it and changes it to that one. Still, still nothing. Okay. I have one here, 40. See here, 40. And it matched. Okay, so now we are in a 40 kilometers per hour and let's see how the car handles now the remaining ones that we may find. So until now, one out of one. Now it changed to 50 and there is no sign here. Okay. So I changed the road and it changed the sign, but there is no sign here. It's correct. This is a 50 kilometers per hour road, but I don't know from where it got the information. So again, I do believe that as we changed the road, he got that information from the navigation. Again, guys, this is my feeling because I already saw it happening several times. When I change roads, when I move to a different road, uh, it does update. And if there is no sign, he's getting that information from somewhere. So I do believe that it's also coming from uh, the TomTom -tom navigation here, but I not sure about that so guys again if you know something about that let me know so i will change now the um the road again so probably he will update again the information but there is no speed sign here and we keep it as 50 because we are in the city so if there is nothing no different indication so 50 is correct let me just change this so now we have here a 40, as you can see here, and it changed, okay? So it's working until now. It's 40 kilometers per hour. Now another 40 here. So it kept the 40, so it's okay. Three out of three. So still 40, we are in the same road. So if there is no new sign, we should not change the speed limit that we were in. So it's correct, 40. So I'm driving a little bit slower <laughs> so that I can see all the signs, okay? So we have 40 also there. So we have here another 40. And car is keeping the 40. So I'm not going to count. So until now, all was correct. So let's count only the incorrect ones. So the reason for this uh, video is because there are in some uh, communities, Xpenger communities, people complaining that the car is not identifying correctly the speed signs. Um, so as my uh, opinion on this, so 40 again, so it's keeping the same. So as my opinion on this is that it does miss a couple. Yeah, <coughs> already uh, 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 happened. But I would say that it gets it right nine out of 10 or even even more. So the, the idea that I have it's most mostly all are um, captured correctly. 
And even the, the idea that I have that if sometimes there is no information, he's getting that information from the navigation map. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. My, so now, see, I changed the, the road, but there is no speed sign, but it changed to 50. So as I change the road and there is no speed sign, it's going to revert back. So I don't know if it is getting that information from the TomTom -tom navigation or if it is just reverting back to the basic information that we have from the uh, law that is 50 kilometers per hour. Now, we saw there that there was the sign of no limitations. Uh, so um, all the uh, prohibit uh, is ended and now the car doesn't know how to handle this. Now we have a 60 here behind these trees. See that? It changed to 90 and then quickly to 60. So I don't know if it was a misreading and then actually uh, reading it or if it was just updating based on information of the road itself and then reading then the sign because I was in fact in a road that is 90 but changing then to um, um, uh, those, uh, those uh, roads that inter interconnect to um, easy one. See now, again, I changed to a different one. It's correct, it's 100 here, but there was no speed sign. So again, guys, I do believe that the speed information coming to uh, here, it's also coming from the navigation or something like that. So now we will have here at 80 kilometers per hour. Let's see and how fast it is to read it. So now, it didn't. Oh no, it did change now, okay? So again, a small delay and now we have here 70, but 70 it's to leave. See that there is a sign there that it's for leaving. And the car didn't took that because we are not going to leave. So this is also a very nice, uh, important information because that sign was there as if it was changing for every road, but has a sign below saying that it was for the exit. And the car did read it well. So now let's see what happens. So we are going to continue here. So we have now a 40 kilometers per hour because this is an entry to another big um, street that it's 50. Now we have here 60. Let's see. 60. It changed again. So let's resume what we saw until now. So until now, every single sign, you read it correctly. I don't know if it was seven or eight signs. Okay. And he did update in a couple of situations, mainly when we change roads and there is no sign indicating the speed limit, he is going to revert back to the speed limit that it's by law on that type of road. So I don't know uh, if it is getting that information from the TomTom um, -tom navigation. I only see that as the possibility for that. So guys, again, if you have any information on how the speed limit works, let me know. I know that in front we have a speed uh, radar that it's 50 kilometers per hour. So we should have a change, uh, uh, um, a speed sign somewhere near to change it to 50. Let's see. Oh, there he is. So 50 there. There is a speed sign there with the information that we have a radar in front. So let's see if the car reads it. 50. Okay, so it did well. A lot of traffic for a Saturday. Oh, today it's going to be a Portuguese game. So the Portuguese um, national team, soccer, will play today here on the sporting stadium that we are just going through. Sporting! <laughs> yeah, I'm a sporting fan. So let's see here, 50 still, still 50 here. So everything okay. We are now on Sporting Stadium. And we are now going to change the uh, road. So let's see if there is an update because I don't know if there is a speed sign immediately there. Let's see, so it dis disappeared, okay. 
So it is not giving that information. And now let's see if it updates as soon as we have the speed sign here that it's going to be 80. So I already saw it, the speed sign, it's 80 there. Okay, a Saturday accident happens. And it's 80, as you can see, so it did well also. Still 80 here, we have a 50 there, but it's only the exit, so the car is reading 80, so it's good. So now, as you can see, we have now the speed, uh, fixed speed camera, it's showing in front, it's 80, so it's not changing, so it's okay. We will need to go to the right lane because we are then going to leave this place. So still 80, the car still says 80. And now we have 60 for the exit, so, but I believe that this is for, yeah, it's only for the uh, exit for the uh, gas station and the car ignored it, so good. So I changed here the direction. I'm here on these. Let's see if he reads this information here. He ignored again. And now it's 50. It changed to 60 and now 80 and now 50. And now 50, yeah. And now let's see if it changes to 40, 40. So it was a little bit messy in that place, 40 for this place. Now it is 50, so it's there. But I don't know if it will change. It changed to 50. So until now, I think that the system is working well. Uh, so again, um, the car until now in the streets where we were, it read all the signs. It even identified a couple of uh, speeds that were not identified uh, on speed signs. So again, I believe that it's getting that information from uh, the navigation and map. Uh, now it changed to 90. So again, there is no information here about that, but the car did change this to 90. I am not sure if this is a 90 road or not, because I didn't saw any uh, sign here saying that this is a 90 uh, road. But again, this is why I say that this is coming probably from the navigation. And if so, then probably if there is any mistake coming from this, it's not coming from the cameras or coming from the um, system itself that recognizes the speed uh, limits. It's coming also from the information from TomTom -Tom in this case. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, so again, I don't know if this road is a 90 kilometers per hour or not, because there was no speed sign anywhere uh, showing uh, that information. So I cannot say that this is correct. So now I have here a 40. And let's see what the car does, 40. So now 30, 30. So what I can see is that the car does read until now all signs that showed and the cameras are picking and reading the car is updating accordingly now again it's 50 and we are not we didn't have any sign saying 50 okay so we do have here a situation that needs to be clarified so when we change roads, so it's always when we change the road, so after a roundabout that normally there is a new road after the roundabout, or even if you stay in the same on the roundabout, it's not the same road. So it's like an update, it triggers an update of the information. It does get information from somewhere, okay? And the only thing that it may be updating is for sure, the, the navigation information. So it's the only place where it could get. So now again, 90. So I don't have here any, any speed sign at all. Again, it changed again to 50. 
So you see, every time that we change direction, we change roads, we change to another um, uh, situation, and if there is no speed sign available, the car is being updated by a database, by somewhere. So now we have 40 here, cameras will work to 40. If there is a speed sign, cameras are picking them and it's updating the information. If there is no information on for the cameras to read and if there is a change of scenario, in this case road or whatever, there is a trigger to update the information and that information is coming from somewhere that I don't have the information from where it is, but I can only assume that it's coming from, uh, the, um, from the database of TomTom, the navigation system. So still 40 kilometers per hour here. So guys, I, I think it's enough. I think we already saw that the car is working pretty well on the camera side. So there are here three situations that we need to take in consideration. First, when there is a speed sign, the cameras are picking that information without any problem, reading and updating immediately on the system. I didn't saw any single problem in this ride, at least. It even ignored the signals, uh, speed signals that were related to exits, okay? And when there are no cameras, the car is picking up also the information from somewhere, database, TomTom, -tom, I don't know, and updating the system. So this is my feeling about the speed sign recognition of the x -Bank. So I am happy with that. So guys, let me know if you have more information on how this system is operating and how this is handling than the speed uh, information on your side. So guys, thank you very much for being here with me. If you like this content, please leave a like and comment what you feel about this uh, system recognition of speed signs. Uh, let me know in, in the comments and of course share the content with your friends and family and uh, if you are new to the channel welcome and please activate and subscribe to the channel and activate that bell there so that you are notified for uh, about new videos here and um, thank you very much again and i will see you in the next one bye bye guys